so, so we have covered you have seen we have covered how to traverse from you know uh, parent to parent right and then you have cover you know parent to child like td we have cover in 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 your child you know in your child in a sibling how we can cover you know uh, traverse from sibling to sibling so it's very important so you can put this one either also in our code here i can say this one too right so instead of this this should work too you can put this one too it's a good practice it's a really good practice okay so i think it's pretty much that's all so this is all of our the advanced uh, you know technique to use uh, xpath css selectors you know when that you don't have a direct uh, id name and you need to traverse from parent to child or you know child to parent so, so one more thing sorry uh one more things like you know uh we can see how we can traverse you know uh, uh child to parent let's go to our app again so this is now we're going to see how we can traverse from parent to child it's a reverse it so sorry child to parent okay, we have seen you know how to traverse from parent to child now it's a child to parent we can we can traverse that way too and only this is the difference like only using you know uh uh css selectors you can traverse backward like you know your child to parent or or you know your uh expat also can use to traverse from parent to child so it's expat and css selectors only can help you to traverse parent to child uh, or child to parent reverse way so let's so our table is t body right and next is tr slash tr we have seen and then number 12 right number 12 so it's the last one right this is the last one that's what we have seen just now you know in our last class and then we can uh, go to td slash td number one so it's a first this is the first one right now if we want to what's the so here come over here so right now this is right now we're here this is the child so it's this first child td if we want to traverse back from this td to your parent which is the tr if you want to do it you can do it so that time you can put a slash and type parent parent and what what's the tag of the parent and double colon and then parent tag is tr you know the immediate parent is tr so you can put tr you will see it will show you again the parent this 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 tr you see it's showing the whole row okay that's the way you can traverse back from child to parent you can now this is the tr is the it's the now it's parent so this tr also child child of what child child of who child of this TB, td body you can again traverse from here this tr to this child to this parent again you can put here slash let's put a slash parent parent then double colon then the tag name of your parent what's the tag name t body right t body hit enter you can say it's is selecting the whole table because right now we're over here right so this is very interesting that you can traverse back traverse back from child to parent so traverse back child to parent so traverse back child to parent so this is the you know expat so this is the first parent for after the td and then from uh, uh this is the first parent after after the tds like up until tr and for from tr because you can parents back you know traverse back even td body right i think that's very clear you know it's uh really really good insightful uh, uh 
technique that will help you to define or address any element moving forward. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.